What's going on guys? My name is Brandon and today we're going to fresh up a really gross and nasty two-stroke exhaust can and we're going to make it look brand new or pretty close to it. So stick around. So whenever you do a project like this, it's always in the details. Getting your finished product to just look fresh is what we're after. Well, part of that is going to be freshening up the exhaust. Now, if your exhaust looks like garbage or sounds like garbage, well, that's kind of what people see. So you want it to be right. So today we're going to freshen up our exhaust and it's going to look brand new or close enough to it. Stick around. two guys because these ones are kind of chewed up I'll show you check it out see how that's kind of like all chewed up looking we don't want that we want nice shiny hardware so what I'll do is I'll put the uh, socket in there and then pound it in so you can hear it bottom out now we'll there that zipped right out together we need to make sure that the pipe goes up in relation to the writing on it and now I guess a rubber hammer is in order there we go it's moving now this has been a part before guys I can see that it's got some red uh, gasket maker around it, which red is high temp. You can see how it's got that red uh, sealer all the way around it. So if somebody's had this apart, they probably have repacked this at some time, but I think it had a seal that was uh, going in it, a crankshaft seal, because it looked all, uh, all kinds of spooge was coming out of the, the pipe, a lot of it. So I think the seal was bad and it's probably soaked all the packing inside the muffler. So I figure we might as well repack this while we got it off. There, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just clamping this down to help hold this so I can pry on it now. There we go. Ah. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, that's all gooped up. Scotch blue. So yeah, somebody has taken this apart. So yeah, this is um, yeah, pretty saturated, especially on that end. But look, you can see somebody used scotch blue tape. So I'm assuming probably this has been replaced. Like I said, it had to have been because it's got this red RTV sealer on it. It stinks. And this stuff is almost like gum. But if you look down in there, there's still like another piece of packing down in there. But that's held in with these rivets. So I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll take that off too and get that out. That's probably never been replaced. And that looks real gunky down in there. So we'll get that out too. Might as well. But yeah. What I'm trying to do guys is just slowly drill out this rivet until eventually the head just falls off. And then I'll know I have the right diameter. I think I'm getting close. So we'll go up one more. And that's probably going to do it. There, see that? There. Now, I'll see if I can take this, a punch, and just punch that through. There's one. There's two. There's that one. And the last one. Look at that. Look at that crud down inside there, guys. That's bad. Look at it. Yeah, we'll clean this right up. I'll try to get a good part of this, you know, get the bulk of it out of there, but yeah, it's bad. I mean, I say it's bad, I don't know. Maybe that's normal. It doesn't seem normal to me, though. 
seems like this is excessive. All I'm going to do is just use one of my favorite solvents, which is kerosene in a spray bottle, and start cleaning everything up. And this is making short work of that real quick. Now, kerosene is a great solvent and a great cleaner. If you watched last week's episode, you'll know that I used kerosene to clean up a lot of the aluminum parts that we did, but it also stinks. So if you're using it, make sure you're using it in a well-ventilated area. Gain, and look how much better that is now. All right, so after beating on that, I realized that those are held in. That little baffle inside is held in by that right there and that right there. So what I'm going to do is because that does have uh, packing around it, I'm going to actually pull that out too. That thing is a mess. Um, it looks like there's a little like turbine in there. That must be to like pull exhaust gases out. And if that's all gummed up, that's not going to work right. So there you go. You can see that. Check that out down in there. You see how there's like little fins. It's like a turbine. Well, if those are all gummed up and plugged, I, I assume that that kind of like pulls the, the exhaust gases out. As, as it runs through it, it creates like a, like a venturi, I think it's called. And uh, so if that's not working right, or those are plugged, it's only going to um, restrict it. So I'm going to pull this out and we're going to clean it all up and do it the right way. So now I just continue on doing what I just did before and I'm making sure just to drill enough of this rivet so that the head pops off and then I take a punch and then punch the rest of the rivet body down through. Then I take a little just a scrap piece of metal and I'm just forcing that baffle out. And what that actually is, it's a spark arrestor. It keeps uh, sparks from coming out of the exhaust and it also helps quiet it down. Holy. Now this was just disgusting as the other parts, so I went and cleaned all of the parts up with some kerosene, got them nice, bright, and shiny, and then dried it all off to get it ready for repacking. And this is what we're using. We're using FMF uh, two-stroke packing because it's an FMF pipe, so it should go along with their stuff. Gain up to two horsepower with a properly repacked silencer. That's what we came for. All about the horsepower. I'm doing guys I'm just hitting this down until I can feel where that rivet is right there lining up with the inside little piece where it's got to go I'm just going at it real gentle and slow and there it is so see my little uh, punch here watch so if I stick that in there you can see right there all lined up so we're good and see that right down in there there we go there all right now we wrap this the last person put a piece of painters tape around the packing and didn't seem to bother anything so I guess we'll do it too to help try to keep it together well, I'll tell you what, guys, I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't read it with my own eyes, but uh, they want a piece of masking tape wrapped around this. And the directions say to cut, make sure that this uh, insulation is all the way up into this cap, pushed firmly up into there, which mine is. And then they want this hanging over three quarters to an inch beyond the end of the baffles. Now this is probably made of fiberglass so I should probably be wearing gloves and a respirator to do this. Secure it with a piece of tape about an inch in from each side. There it is and as you can see guys there's the end of the pipe right there so Touching right my tip of my finger to there is about an inch. So that's right where it is. Right where it needs to be. So now we just slide this inside the housing. And remember this has to go up. Just like that. 
I'm not going to seal this yet though because I want to get some new bolts for this. But we can do the back cap and get this together. And let's see, so that's going to go down like that. Right, that's how that would have been, yes. Oh, too much. Okay. All I'm going to use for this guy is just a little bit of black RTV silicone and I'm going to kind of put it on the leading edge where this slides in so that I don't make a hellacious mess putting this together because I really don't want black silicone everywhere you know what I'm saying I'm sure some will come out but hopefully not too much So there we are, that's a little bead I put around there. I'm sure it is gonna make kind of a mess. Now all I'm doing here is I'm just kind of like tapping it and then I'm putting my punch down through to try to get at least like two of the holes that line up and then I put that little strap over it and all I'm using to secure this and fasten it are just some uh, short aluminum rivets that I had. It's just something I had laying around, nothing special. I'm sure you could probably use stainless steel rivets and those would work just as well. So there's that side and we just got to do this side. All right, once I get this all together, guys, then I'll wipe down that end cap and hopefully we'll be good. Now, at this point, you're going to want a nice towel to prevent from scratching your exhaust. So you're not going to want to just use a regular shop towel. So you're going to want to go into the bathroom and sneak out one of your wife's bath towels. Don't ask permission. She's going to say no. Just go do it. Now, wipe that up. And while you're there, you may as well grab yourself a second rag. Again, don't ask for because she's going to say no and you can take this second rag and you can cut it up into smaller pieces and it works good for cleaning up like silicone and it also works good for polishing but uh, make sure you hide them when you're done so you don't get in trouble. How's that look? That looks pretty good huh? So now all I gotta do is just pick up some more of those short screws so we can screw this side together and then we can put our silicone on it and we'll be in good shape. Alright so it's been a few days later and the new decals have come in but they're not the same. They're not what was on there. Although the picture showed that's what I was going to be getting is this. Um, this is actually what I got. And I don't know. Do you guys like it better? Oh, maybe I do. I don't know. That kind of looks good, doesn't it? But yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I think. I think that looks really good. So what do you guys think? Do you like this sticker better or that one? I don't know. I kind of like that one now. We'll see. Now I'm just going to take a hair dryer and heat that sticker up and hopefully be able to take it off. Alright guys, you know where I'm going with this. While you're up there grabbing bath towels and smuggling those out of there, you might as well grab her hair dryer. But you're going to want to treat this good because this you're going to have to return. So if you send this back and it's all beat up and the ends all scarred up, she's going to know it and you're going to get caught and you're probably going to get caught for stealing all our bath towels too so treat it good so you can pull this off but you're going to want to use the hair dryer on high and it works great to remove these stickers got some acetone and we will try to get all this stickiness off it all right let's do the whirl oh yeah Yep, that's working good. Kind of making a mess. Look at that. That's all the adhesive. But it's got to get worked before it can get better, right? So now that we got this all cleaned down, it's nice and smooth and there's no imperfections. Now we're going to start putting the decal on, but we're going to put it on on the inside first. That way we can kind of like use this as our test dummy. So we'll kind of have an idea of, you know, what kind of problems we're going to run into when we start getting onto the side that we can actually see. So it's got a little tab right here, so I'll pull that and we'll, we'll stick that first. 
And so I'm just kind of lining it up to that slash right there to what kind of is already there. That looks pretty consistent right there. Oh, guys, that looks wicked good. That's going to dress this up big time. You know, it's little details like this that really make your project, that really set your project off, you know. You know, we could have bought a new exhaust and then it would have been absolutely perfect. But, you know, we're doing this on a budget. And the idea is, is we want it to look good. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we want it to be as close to perfect as we can. And then you're not going to be quite so afraid to use it. That makes sense? Oh yeah, look at that guys. Check that out. That looks really good. No bubbles, nothing. It came out really good. Now if we can just do it as nice on the other side. Fingers crossed. You can see how if I hold that kind of centered on the rivet, the back of the decal is like up onto this strap and it's hanging over the back of the can. So it's going to have to be off a little bit to make it right. So that's okay. I'll do it the same way. We're not going to reinvent the wheel. I'm going to pull this little bit off the back. Just like that. There we go. See that little scratch there? That'll be nice because that really stuck out on the other decal. That showed up a lot, that damage. Uh, and this decal will cover it right up. So, oops, there we go, guys. Huh. Oh my God, yeah, this looks nice. Now you can see how I'm just starting at the edge and I'm just being real careful to kind of roll that back off so I don't trap any air in it. Now this was a really inexpensive project to get this spruced up like this. The decals were only like nine bucks. I think the packing was somewhere around seven or eight, nine dollars. You know, I've got about twenty dollars in this full exhaust restore and I think it looks like a million bucks. Look at that. That looks awesome. All right, let's... uh clean up some of the stainless. I'm just using some waterless cleaner. And then I'm just shining it up with a piece of steel wool. It works especially good on aluminum, stainless steel, and chrome. So check this out guys. I'm really happy how this came out. I, the only thing I haven't got yet is the screws haven't come in for this end cap. I've ordered those and those are super cheap. They're stainless steel. I think they're 304 and 25 of them for like seven bucks. So the only imperfection spot is this right here. And if that bothered you, I probably could take this to a paint store and have this gold anodized color somewhat color matched and then just go through and have it in like a uh, brush applicator and just brush this on. And I may do that, I don't know. But other than that, I think this cleaned up really well. It looks really good. I took a little bit of uh, aluminum, polish and polish that little tail piece and did the same thing that's all nice and clean looking and fresh and same thing with this side here this looks and feels all nice and clean and fresh all polished up so yeah this will look and sound and feel pretty much like a new pipe without the new pipe cost. This is something that you like. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you're wondering about any of the tools that you see me using, I'll have links down below. If you're wondering about any of the things that you see me doing, you guys can catch me on Facebook and on Instagram. I'm always uploading stuff there before it makes it here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Until next week, guys, I will see you then. Take care. Stay safe. See ya. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.